prototype no code supplier invoicing application using NAC. It allows an administrator to create and view suppliers and manage their individual invoices. Each supplier can then securely log in and view the status and details of their individual invoices. Once you've logged into your NAC account, simply click on Add App. You can choose to add a template, and NAC offers a wide range of CRM, inventory tracking, and project management applications. In this video, we're going to start from scratch. So come back and click on Start App from Scratch. Give your app a name and add the app. We are now inside the builder within NAC, more commonly called the back end of the database. And we need to add our first table. So think of a table like a spreadsheet where you have rows and columns. And what we want to do is decide what columns we want in our table. So for that, we need to add fields. So if we first of all add a table, we can either import this from a spreadsheet or a CSV file, or we can choose one of the templated options here for companies, employees, contacts, etc. But once again, we're going to build our table from scratch. So my first table is going to be called suppliers. So we're on the data section of the builder and you can see now under the table section, we have one table called suppliers and one field or one column called supplier name. And you can click on these fields to get into the settings and we can make this one unique. To add additional fields, simply click the add field button. On the left hand side, you'll be presented with a number of field options for various different data, data types. In this example of a quick prototype, I just want to add a few basic fields. So for this table, I'm going to add an address field and I can click and drag and drop. I can then click on the field to enter into the settings. So I'm going to make this a required field. And if you're on a pro plan or above, you can enable mapping and auto address complete. And I'm going to leave the format as US. I'm going to go back into adding fields, scroll down to personal and add a phone number. And if you click the field directly from here, it will pop up and you can change the name of the label, make it required, unique, and change the format. In this case, I'm going to go for any. I'm then going to add a link field and rename this to website and choose the option that when it's clicked, it opens in a new browser tab or new window. I want to capture which industry this supplier is in. So a good way to do that is with a multi-choice field. So I'll rename the label to industry and you can either type your options here or go to quick edit, type them or copy and paste and then save. I want this as a required field, so I check the box for required and the layout of a drop down one selection is fine, so I can add this field. I'm also going to add a paragraph field just so I can put a description about the supplier. Finally, I'd like to add an image field so I can add the company logo. So if I return to my data builder, I have my suppliers table with all my fields. I currently don't have any records. So you can either import your records from a CSV or you can add them one at a time by clicking on add record and filling in the form. Once again, it's worth mentioning this is the builder. This isn't the live app. So I've now added three records to my supplier table. Next, I'd like to add a table for invoices so I can show invoices related to each supplier. So I'm gonna add a new table once again from scratch And as before, I'm going to add the fields for my invoice. My first field is an auto increment, which I'll use as an order ID. I'm then going to add a date time field to capture the date that it's due. So we change the default date from the current date and set that as none. A paragraph text field for a description for the, for the invoice. And a file field so we can upload a copy of the invoice. And then going to add a currency field to capture the value of the invoice. And also a multi-choice field for the invoice status.
and I'm going to set the layout to radio buttons. The first field, which is invoice name, is automatically created when the table was set up. I don't actually need this one, so I'm going to delete that field. But I do need to connect my invoices to the supplier because each invoice will need to be connected. And in NAC, that's a very simple solution by using the connections. So you don't need to worry about foreign keys and primary keys. All we need to do is make sure that we connect our invoices when we're on the invoice table to the suppliers table. So simply click, choose suppliers from the drop down list. And here it says each invoice connects with one supplier and each supplier connects with many invoices. So we can add that connection. Depending on where your fields are, be like your columns in a spreadsheet. So I want to put the supplier one underneath my order number. So you can drag and drop these around as you wish. So that people can actually log into the application, we need to enable users. I'm going to enable users and set up a couple of user roles. User roles define what people can actually get to and which pages they can see. I'm going to add an admin role and a client role. The user roles sit underneath the accounts object. The accounts object is at the top level and every user role sits underneath. So every user has an account and is defined by their user role. Mac provides standard user role fields which can't be deleted. Currently we don't have any records. So I'm going to go into the admin user role and add a record. So I've added the name, email, password. The user status is active so they can access the application and their user role is set as admin. I've also done the same for the client role and added the name, email and password. Going back to the suppliers table, we have three suppliers and the one I'm focusing on is Invotech. So Invotech is the supplier. And if I go into invoices and look at the fields view, earlier on, we connected the invoices to the supplier table via this connection. So I've added some invoices here and I've added two for Stella two for Invotech and two for bricks and mortar. So these two here are the two invoices I'd like our client to be able to see. So I need to go into the client user role and add a connection so that John Smith is connected to Invotech. That way, when he logs in, I can show invoices that are connected to the same company that he's connected to. So once again, this is very simple in NAC. Go to the fields view and I can add a connection here and I can simply connect it to the suppliers. And each client connects with one supplier, and each supplier can have many clients. I'm just going to drag and move my supplier field to the top. So when I go to the records view, it's the first column. And if I click on here, I have a list of suppliers, and I want to select Invotech. And I can connect John to Invotech. So now for this prototype application, we have our schema or tables all set up correctly. So I can now add the live app pages. So on the left, go to the pages section. And here you'll see that all of my pages are listed here. I currently have a home page, which is a default page added by NAC automatically. So I need to add my first page. And what I want to create is a page for the admin to see a list of suppliers. So I click on the green add new page and I need to create a login page rather than an open public page. So login page, and I need to limit this to certain permissions by a user role for admin. And I'm going to call this page suppliers and add my page. Mac provides a number of ready to use components broken down into different sections for records, static views, reports, and e-commerce. In this case, I want to add a grid, which will display a table of suppliers. So I can click on grid and then it asks me which records do I want to display in the grid. So I choose suppliers. And now you can see on a preview on the right hand side what this is going to look like. And NAC has automatically added the columns, a search by keyword and a filters button to this view. I can also add additional links such as an edit link, which now appears on the right hand side so I can edit the supplier and a details page as well. I can also add an additional view. So from here I can add another grid which is connected invoices. So I click continue. I can now name this view. So suppliers is the name given, which is fine and add that to my page. So I'd also like to add another view. So I have the ability to add a new supplier and I can do that by adding a form. So I click on add form 
make sure that it says that you want to add a new record and I want to add a supplier. The view name of add supplier is fine and I'd like to link it to a form from a menu. Menu name is going to be called add supplier and NAC has automatically created a button on a menu which I can now save. I don't need to update any of the settings here so I can click away from it to deselect and now I can grab the handle and move my button above the table. So I have a menu with a button which takes me to a page to add a new record and I can click on this orange navigate to the page and it will show me in the tree here on the left hand side where this page is. So as I click you can see it moves me to the add supplier page where I have the ability to add their name, address, etc. If I go back to the top level, which is suppliers, this is my suppliers table. On the right hand side, I have a link which will take me to this edit page so I can edit my supplier. If I return back, I have a link here which also takes me to view the supplier. So I have two views on this page which NAC's automatically created for me. The top view is the suppliers details and then underneath is the table of related invoices. Before I view this in the live app, I'm also going to build a view for the client to be able to log into, effectively a client portal. So I'm going to add another login page and limit this to a specific user role of client. I'm going to call this page invoices. And once again, I can select one of the options here. I'm going to use a grid to display the invoices connected to this company. So which records do I want to display? In this case, it's going to be invoices, but I don't want to display all invoices. That would mean that John would be able to see invoices from every company as it shows here. So I need to show invoices connected to the same supplier that's connected to the logged in client and then click continue. Once again, I have the option to be able to put edit links, but I don't want to give John the ability to edit. I could give him a details view here, which would give him a view link on the right hand side. In this case, I'm not going to. So I'm going to click continue. I don't need to link this from a button. This table is fine and I can add. So returning to the pages section, you can now see that I have two sections that I can collapse. One it requires a login for suppliers and one for invoices. Under the suppliers section, you have a view which shows the table for suppliers with a page to add a supplier, edit supplier and see their details. And then there is the portal here for invoices which is only accessible by the client. And you can see from clicking on the padlock here, the login page, this is a client. And if I come onto the suppliers page, this is for admins. So to view this in the live app is very easy in NAC. There's no integration that you need to do with web hosting. You can simply view this now by using the go to live app links. So in the top right hand corner, you can select a page. So I have a suppliers page and an invoice page. So if I was to click this, it will open in a new tab or I can copy this link here and then paste it into the browser. So if I just click on suppliers, so it takes me to a login page so I can put in my email address and password and then sign in. So as an admin, I can see all three suppliers and I have the option to be able to edit the supplier and also view their details. So if I click on InfoTech, I now have a view at the top of all the details for the company and below that are the invoices related to that company. We can also click on these links to view a copy of the invoice. Returning to the builder, I can then do the same on the invoices. So I can send this unique URL to my client and when they click on that, it will open a login page. So I'm about to log in as John and you can see from the URL here that I'm on the supplier invoices page. So when I sign in, I will see an invoices page at the top and only see invoices related to the same company that I'm connected to, with the option still to be able to click on the link for the invoice itself. So just returning to the builder, I'd like to draw your attention to the settings. Mac has various settings, but under the live app design, this gives you the ability to customize the way your application looks and feels. I'd encourage you to look at each section and customize and change the colors of the application to suit. After a few minutes of further development, I can show you what the application would now look like. So after a few minutes of customization or without using any code, I've managed to change the look and feel of this application. Now, when you click on add supplier, it opens in a pop-up box in a two column layout. When you click on the description, you can view more and view less. I have colored links to be able to edit the record 
and then when you view the record, I've changed the layout and the look and feel of the supplier information at the top and added in an interactive map with a link to Google Maps. You also have a button to be able to add an invoice, which opens in a pop-up box as well. As I'm sure you'll appreciate, this is a very quick prototype build. You'd obviously want to develop this and improve it over time, but NAC is a very powerful and flexible tool. Eventually, you may want to integrate this with other systems and applications and start to automate your workflows even further.